you know? We have a law enforcement golf tournament, you know? I still have yet to have anybody answer this question for me where I can really get it. So if you have somebody else that can help me with this, please do. Have them call me, uh, email me, sheriffmack at hotmail.com, okay? That what is it going to hurt if we have sheriffs actually keep their oath? What's it going to hurt? But on the other hand, what would it accomplish? Can you imagine county by county getting our freedom back? Can you imagine living in a county where your sheriff protects and defends the United States Constitution? Keeps his word to do that. You know what? We wouldn't need to be here right now, would we? I would love to go home. Let me stay home. I'd gladly work myself out of a job here. Please, please let me work myself out of a job here. Sheriffs, keep your word. Become a constitutional sheriff. Serve your people. Serve and protect and defend the constitutional rights of your citizens. Is, is that, am I out of line here? Am I, is that why I'm radical? Is that why I'm getting blamed? Is that why I'm getting the press heat? Is that why the mainstream people and the rights people are coming after me? Because I want the sheriff to keep his word. That's why I'm on the militia circuit now? Huh. Okay, so I am. Now how about let's get back to the issue at hand. Can the sheriffs and should the sheriffs keep their word to uphold and defend the Constitution. Now let's see if they should. In Mac versus U.S., we learned uh, quite a few things, and it's pretty powerful. <coughs> quoting Scalia from that decision, who's quoting James Madison. Go figure. Okay, and he says this: the great innovation of this of this design was that our citizens would have two political capacities: one state. <laughs> and one federal. Get this, this is the kicker. It's right here, it's in bold. It's in your book, it's, it's bold on page 15. Each protected from incursion by the other. So who's supposed to protect you from incursions from the federal government? The state government. Is the county a political subdivision of the state? Yes, and guess what? It says that in the decision. When you read this whole Scalia decision, you'll see he says that. It's in black and white. Okay, this isn't the Miranda warning, but it's still a U.S. Supreme Court decision. And why wouldn't this apply just as much as the Miranda warning? Because that's all it was, a decision of the U.S. Supreme Court. This is too. We'll keep going. You want to reiterate this? We want more emphasis on this? Good. Keep reading. A legal system unprecedented in form and design establishing two forms of government, each with its own obligations to the people. Okay? Quote, the local or municipal authorities form distinct and independent portions. Remember what we were talking about earlier? The supremacy? Didn't I tell you that the federal government only gets a little piece of it? Independent form distinct and independent portions of the supremacy. Who forms the supremacy? The local or municipal authorities form distinct. So local and municipal authorities form distinct and independent portions of the supremacy. Remember that, remember that because your county attorneys are going to say the supremacy clause gives it all to the federal government. Then you turn to this and you say, but Mac Prince versus U.S. says it doesn't. And you give him the book. And you say, read the book. And I still will make this challenge to you or to any scholar of the Constitution, any lawyer. That would be an easy one. But anyway, any lawyer who wants to come and tell me, you made a mistake here, Sheriff Mac. You made a mistake. Just have him document where I'm wrong, and I'll eat that part out of the book. <laughs> Promise. Okay? Let's keep going. Turn the page over to 16. The second paragraph, Scalia does it again. He starts quoting Madison. God, 
This separation of the two spheres, he calls it spheres, is one of the Constitution's structural protections of liberty. What is the separation of the two spheres? The state sphere and the federal sphere is a structural protection of liberty. Do you think maybe your sheriff should know about that structural protection? And that if he doesn't protect that structure, we lose what? A structural protection of liberty. Can we afford to lose that? No, no of course not. Good grief, what are we doing? We just let it go because we're going to go along with tyranny? What do we know about tyranny? Tyrants never fix it. Those politicians who caused the problem very seldom, in fact, never in history do they fix it. We've seen these things about change, haven't we? The only problem with that is it accelerated tyranny. That's all we have so far. It's change. Oh, yeah.